All right, here we are. It's Jimbo Ohio here on my 2017 Indian Chieftain, which is uh, got the new ride command. I'm otherwise known as Jim DN. So here is the uh, 2017 Indian Chieftain complete with ride command. The ride command has got uh, pretty cool stuff on it. We're going to go through the update today on this, and uh, this may pick up the stereo here in a second, but uh, tell me that's not a cool startup anyway. Ride command, visual startup. And we go ahead and click through the warning. It's going to tell us what we can. And the cool thing about this ride command, too, is fully touch sensitive gloves or without. So you can actually be working on this while you're riding with gloves on it. Uh, there is a compartment up here. And if you look down in this compartment, there is a USB port. This USB port, now I've got my Indian USB on here. If you look really close here, you can see it. There it is. And uh, you can use any one, any USB port you want for this update. So take a USB port and actually use this thing to uh, update as long as it's a, I think it's an 8 gigabyte you'd need. So anyway, we're going to take this USB port. It literally pulls in and out of this right here. So, and that's down inside this cabinet up on top on the dash. It's no longer underneath the side, which where it was before, you would only be able to get to it from the uh, side portion, which was clear up underneath here. Now there's a... Uh, DC or I'm sorry a port here that you can actually plug into but there's no pocket in here like there is on the street glides and other things It's all one on top here. So now it's up on top. Take a USB port out Come over and go to your Laptop now when you go to your laptop you go to the Indian and you can see here. Let's go to uh, my dot Indian motorcycle dot com ride command and when you get there you're going to see that all of these available updates are here. There is an update for software and an update for maps. The update for software, you simply will click on the update for software, and it's going to tell you step by step what to do. Now, this is important. Follow these steps. Go through them. You have to go through. It tells you what you're going to get, new waypoint, multi-waypoint routes, uh, additional points of interest, save, export, upload maps, which is really cool. But your key updates are all these. Now, this is the important note here. It tells you when you perform this update, your motorcycle will clear and save all locations, FM presets, Bluetooth, connect, Bluetooth connections, and um, any trip and oil change information. So keep that in mind. So if you take this update and you click on that right there, it's going to bring this window up. Now, I'm on a Mac. PC may look a little different with that. Now, when you say save, you can save that file right there. And when you save it, it's going to say where. And you want to have this USB port into your computer and once you have that into your computer you can save it directly to that then you take that after you've loaded that in and you take that USB and you bring it back over here and you absolutely easy as this plug it into your USB port which is a cable that's down inside your your overhead so you'll plug that in and as you do you can come into here and you can just easily tap on the Indian at the top and if you look over here, do you see this little gear sign over here? This gear means settings. So you can tap on settings. You can scroll down through here, update software. You will hit on the update software. And it's going to add, it tells you right here, add software file to your USB flash drive. Insert the flash drive into the USB port. Go to my Indian Motor Circuit. It tells you everything to do. Uh, you can actually go back if you don't want to be in that window. And you're going to see another one here, update maps. Don't do anything with that yet. Don't do anything with that yet. Update the software first. Go through the software update. It will automatically restart the window when you're done. And once it's done and restarts, then you can shut the bike off. Simply press your button, shut the bike off. Now it's ready for the second step. Now here's the second step that you're going to have to do. When you go into here, kick that back on. Start it up. Now bear with me as I put this because I've got two hands on this. And we're going to try to load this USB port in here. Uh, one hand holding the camera, one hand holding the USB port is a little tough. Hold on. Okay, we've got our USB port in. Now it's going to search for the USB port, but what you have to do now is when you go into update, go back into here, boom, hit on that settings again, go down to the maps. Now here's the part that you have to understand. You're going to want to create a key. See this? It gives you all the steps. Create the key first. Do not 
download the map update on your website or anything. So in other words, remember when you're back here on this, don't, don't download both of those on here. You will not need both of these updates at first. You only do this one first. Completely ignore the maps. Once you're done with this one, now you do that create key. And once you create key, it's going to put it on this USB jump drive. Okay, you've created the key. Once you've done that, you take that key and you put it back in here. And once you put it back in your computer, and then you go to update maps. So we will come over here and you go update maps. It's going to tell you all these things. Now here's a PC and there's a Mac version. You have to make sure that when you download this, you're going to, it's going to tell you all these steps. Let this go through the full process. Let it update everything, everything on there, because it is, this one is a 5.2 megabyte, 18.5 for PC, 5.2 for Mac. It's a, it's a decent sized file, but it's not, it, it seems like you're done. If there's any interruption to your download, go back, erase your key and start again. That is the key part about it. You, it's called a fingerprint, so you have to use that fingerprint. But once you've started this download, it's assigning it to the fingerprint that's on your USB drive. If there's any interruption, like your computer goes to sleep or you lose Wi-Fi or whatever it may be, get out of there, go delete that fingerprint, and go back over and start again on here. You have to do this process all the way through. Okay, so now you come back over here to the laptop, download, follow the instructions. If it's a full download, it'll load it onto your jump drive. Once it up does on your jump drive, you can actually click here and what it's going to do now is it's going to create a DMG, which is a dismounted uh, graphic or um, whatever the heck that means. But that, that toolbox.dmg will be on your desktop. And when you do that, that is actually the operating portion that's going to allow you to update everything. So you'll get that, you'll load that. Once you've downloaded everything from that, put it on the drive, you bring the drive back over here, put it in, and you go into update maps. Now you've already done the create key, you go downloaded, you've, up, up, you've opened everything onto there. So now when you hit the update maps, it's going to load for those update maps and it's gonna say do not re um, remove power and, and I've already done this so now it's doing it again and it's going to be a while. This is important too. You can actually do this for quite some time and it will last on there for a while. So don't shut that off, let that keep loading down there and once your maps are loaded, it will tell you everything. This window will come completely off there and it'll restart the window. Then you can shut the bike off and restart the bike again. This could take 18 to 20 minutes. So remember that it could be a while. Don't expect to load your maps and get on riding in five minutes. But that's the idea of what it is for updating. So back to the original thought process here. I can't stress it enough. When you have this um, updater here, make sure this is, this is a review. Do this all at once. So if you have your full updates, do this one first. Ignore the maps. Do this one complete. Once it's all done, then go to this. The steps are all there. It's very self-explanatory, but if anything interrupts this process, it will not complete. And you'll have to go all the way back to creating your key again. So there's my input from Ohio Jimbo on my 2017 Indian chieftain.